What we're trying to achieve is a very old dream, creating a virtual dual universe for millions of people to live in, to invent their story, their character, to do anything they want, to become anyone they want. You've seen that already in science fiction. We're trying to build it. I'm the original designer of EVE Online. I worked on it for 15 years. When I saw Dual Universe, I immediately fell in love with it and think it's the next big step in immersion gameplay. I'm just super happy to be working with this uh, crazy ambitious team. Well, the core challenge is, to make something like this, you have to have a completely different approach on the server problem. On the million of people on the same universe, no one has done something like this on this scale. The size of this is just crazy. We basically need to deploy a cluster of servers that is getting close to what people in supercomputing are doing. All this technology is here to serve a revolutionary take on game design. We want content to emerge directly from players interacting with each other, rather than feeding it. Generally, we find ourselves aiming to create tools that players can use and combine, rather than setting up anything in advance. We talk with the community every day. It helps us to refine our vision of the game. It's uh, a philosophy in the company since its creation. For us, it's very important to develop Dual Universe with our players. It's at the heart of what we're doing at NovaQuark. You can't build a team with people of this quality without a groundbreaking and challenging project. People here have this feeling they are contributing to something big. The incredible thing is, Everything in Dual Universe is datable. We have introduced a new planetary voxel engine so that you can shape the world around you. And the same engine allows you to build cities, spaceships, orbital stations. Ultimately, we make the tools and the real value of what we do is in the player community and the content they create with them. After just a few weeks, we have already seen amazing constructions by the players and thousands of organizations on the community website. It's an exciting challenge. In the overcrowded sci-fi genre, reinventing the codes is an incredible artistic motivation. When you give so much freedom to the players, you end up with a complex user experience. Our aim as designers is to keep it as simple, intuitive, and beautiful as possible. The potential of this project is game-changing. It could very well change the landscape of our industry in a very radical way. It could disrupt us. I find what they're doing really interesting. The project is ambitious, but we have developed the right technologies, and more importantly, we have gathered the right people to do it. The journey is still ahead of us. You could be part of it. Hi guys, this is Jesse. I am back in front of the camera today because I have some really big news to share with you about Dual Universe. So let's get started. So now to the first big news. The end of 2018 is approaching and we want to honor a promise we made during the Kickstarter. Uh, even if the game is not yet finished, we're gonna give access to the game in its alpha state to all Kickstarter backers by the end of the year. This is actually going together with another big announcement uh, about the new roadmap of development for Dual Universe. So we promised this roadmap, you can get it actually here in the description. And um, please feel free to leave comments and your, your feedback and we'll be happy to discuss that with you. In short, it goes as follows. Uh, we're gonna have an alpha by the end of the year, probably November, that will be followed by two other alphas in 2019 and then a beta in 2020 and the final release at the end of 2020. You might think that 2020 is a long time to wait to play the game, but in fact the game is already playable in alpha state uh, by the end of 2018. And we are going to constantly improve it, add more gameplay, fix bugs and take into account your feedback. So this, this is just the normal development process going on. Now another big news. Uh, we have decided to maintain the NDA during the alphas. So we know that the game is already fun to play, uh, especially with the building gameplay and the single shot experience. But we also know that expectations are very high. 
Uh, there's still a lot of work to do in the rendering. There are still some key parts of the gameplay missing. Uh, so we think that opening to a wider audience too soon might actually give the wrong impression. And one more thing, the last and maybe the biggest news is that thanks to your continuous support and the progress made in the game, our current investors have decided to add another $3.5 million to their current investment. So that puts the total amount of funding together with the crowdfunding money to $11 million. This is really great news because it will allow us to hire more people and uh, to grow the company and keep delivering on the road towards the release. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for your patience and your support. Again, a big thank you to all our backers. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot of questions about all these announcements, so I'd be happy to answer them into an AMA to be announced soon. Meanwhile, take care and see you soon in Dual Universe.